Oh, Father God, I just ask that you help us, Lord. Lead us by your Spirit in these last days. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Let these words ring true. Anoint your servant, anoint your messenger, and anoint your message in Jesus' name, I pray. And let it spring forth to fruition. Amen. A salute to those of you who are in Jesus Christ. I salute brothers and sisters and not soldiers of America because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. Amen. We have a spiritual sword. We don't pick up guns and knives and all that as those matters are past us. And uh, we don't um, do bad with our hands, but we do good things with our hands. We're not called to take lives. We're called to save lives. And so that's why I salute brothers and sisters. So if you're a soldier of Jesus Christ and you're a soldier of America, I'm saluting you also. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you, especially if you're in the military, to consider your ways. Consider your ways. Because I was a vile creature. I was a terrible man. And so many others have, have the same testimony as I've had. Some likened unto Paul. Well, I was not a murderer, but I was awful close. I was awful close. Smith Wigglesworth had a vile temper. He, he had a temperament of, uh, of uh, anger issues, if you will. But the Lord brought us out of those things that were mighty in our sight and brought us into those things that are mighty in His sight. And so, uh, Billy Sunday also was similar in that aspect. But so many others, I mean, I don't know everybody's testimony, but those are some who I have studied and um, read about their testimonies. And I had similar testimonies. It's pretty amazing what God brings some mighty men and women of God from. Okay, I want to get into this um, word. I want to get into this uh, revelation of knowledge of the things that are coming upon the face of the earth that the Lord showed me and talked with me about and warned me to warn others. Okay? Scripture can be found in Revelation 17 and 5 and Revelation 13 and 2. So, test the spirit. Uh, of what I'm about to share with you in Scripture and allow the word, the word of God to work and the Lord to reveal things to you also. Amen? Hear the word of the Lord that has been shared with me in Revelation and Knowledge. I see one coming after Obama likened unto him that is called Brahma. He walks with Shiva and with CERN. His face has already been revealed, his campaign announced. All these things come together and it shall be. As it is written, the mystery of iniquity is already at work. And there are many antichrists, but the final beast and king is here and grown to power. If I shall tarry to 2020, men will see much new matters and technology. Watch so the bull does not charge you and take you by storm and surprise without warning. America was the first sodomite nation I have known and forewarned by judgment. Food will be taken for this. These are the beginning of sorrows. Sodomy spread from west to east, also shall the food daily bread shortage spread. Touch not the blessed. They are mine, and I am their God. Turn to me. Look to me. Repent to my coming judgments, lest the grace shall also end. 
That's the end of the message. Father, in the name of Jesus, anoint the message, anoint the messenger, anoint your hearers also, Lord. In Jesus, I pray. The Lord spoke to me about the harlot, the harlot of Babylon, Shiva, the harlot who rides on the beast, who rides with the beast. The Pope, the Papacy, the Popery, the Roman Catholic Church, the One World Religion. I'm against this. The Lord God is against this. It is all these things come together. You see, this is a One World Religion. Shiva, the Pope, Hinduism, Islam. It's all going to be together, every every bit of it, except the offensive name of Jesus Christ, except the cross and the blood, the resurrection and ascension to heaven of Jesus Christ. It offends them. Nothing else offends them like the Word of God, like the Lord. Amen? It's the truth. They can't handle the truth. I want to tell you about this, this, this Brahma, the mystery of the Brahma. It says in Hinduism, Hinduism perceives the whole creation and its cosmic activity as the work of three fundamental forces symbolized by three gods. This is the unholy trinity, folks, which constitutes the Hindu trinity, blasphemous. Brahma, the creator, Vishnu, the sustainer, and Shiva, the destroyer. The Brahma bull. If you look a picture, at a picture of a Brahma bull, it's two colors. Multi-colored. Like a leopard. The pinnacle of human evolution. There is none better than him. He truly is a god among men. Let's go to Revelation chapter 17 and 5. It says, And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great mother of all harlots and abominations of the earth. All harlots. Mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Revelation chapter 13 and 2. And the beast which I saw was like a, unto a leopard. His feet were as the feet of a bear. And his mouth, the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. Where is a leopard from? Leopards are found throughout most of Africa, Asia, the Middle East, Soviet Union, Korea, China, India, and, and, and Malaysia. I want to point out the Soviet Union. I want to point out Asia or China. And I want to point out Africa. Why? Egypt is found in Africa. The Soviet Union or Russia, Rosh, Tubal, Gog and Magog, and Asia will play a major part. North Korea, China, Japan will play a major part in the end times. Also, the Middle East will play a great part. It, it is the focal point. Israel is the focal point. And all these Islam people and nations gather around it, trying to destroy it. And so you see all these powers, all these nations coming together like Nimrod. This is the mystery of Babylon. It is not one nation. It is many nations. It is all nations against Israel. And this is the extreme power. The dominated power. The one world power. The one world religion. One beast will be over the power of the nations. The other beast will be over uh, religion. 
and they will be against each other. They will, they will come together and they won't even like each other. Why? Because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. There's none other. There's none other that can bring unity. It's a false unity. It's a false religion. It's a false peace. In the name of Jesus is found true love, true unity, true uh, united nations. And this time will only come when the Lord reigns on the face of the earth. When the Lord brings down a new heaven and a new earth and a new Jerusalem. He comes to make all things new. And so I want to I wanna, uh, warn you and give you a word of warning. Also, I have not received this. I have not received this. But the Pope is believed to have announced that he will be on the 2017 Super Bowl Titantron above the stadium. I have not received this. This is not my my words but I do want to warn you to watch out for this also to do not be fooled by the man who has horns like a lamb but speaks as a dragon horns like a lamb but speaks as a dragon as, as, as like Christ but the world does not like Christ, but they like the Pope. Something is wrong, folks. Something is wrong. Watch. Watch out. In Jesus' name I pray that this video be a blessing to you and help you and guide you and direct you in the name of the Lord Jesus. As he is a lamp unto our feet. In Jesus' name. God bless you till next time.